everybody. I'm Allie, and today we are going to be doing trailer loading. So if you're going to be traveling with your horse, you need to prepare. So we're going to prepare by starting to load our horse at least a week before we actually have to do anything. Don't wait to the last minute. Seriously, don't. Start prepping early. Okay, so here's our culprit. This is Moondancer the Mustang, and uh, she hasn't loaded in about five to six months, and even then it wasn't so good. So that's why we're doing this. Okay, so here's the setup. We are moving the truck and trailer. You want to have the truck attached because you want to be able to distribute the weight when the horse is getting on. And so having your hitch attached to your trailer and kind of having it as level as possible is going to help. Now, if you don't have a gate, you need to make sure, or a ramp, you need to make sure that your gate will stay open. So you've got that. Now you can make a funnel, but really just having a place so if your horse does decide to escape, you're in an enclosed space. That's the way to start. So first thing we're gonna try is just the walk-in. I'm gonna walk straight towards the trailer and uh, she's gonna go, no. I'm not real happy with that. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So the walk-in doesn't work. So one technique is the food technique. So we have some yummy hay and we have some food in there as a reward. So when the horse gets in there, they're going to stop, they're going to eat, and it's going to be a good thing. That is hopefully. Some horses are very driven by feed, so if you wait to do training until kind of the end of the day when they are hungry, then they're more likely to just walk right in and go for the food reward. If you have a food driven horse, that is. Okay, let's see how this goes. We're gonna do the walk up and uh, we're gonna see if she'll get in and follow the food. She's gonna walk with me up. Now she knows I have feed. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so as you can see, she has no motivation to just walk in. Okay, here's a key setup. The escape hatch. You want to make sure that it's pushed in enough so the horse just hitting it is not going to open it. But if you hit it, you can come out. The big thing is, the horse cannot come out either. So uh, the escape hatch is for you. Now, ideally, they walk straight in and then you're able to close the secondary gate and just walk out. But you need to have two options. Either you get out from the back or you get out from the front. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of pressure and see if we can get her into the trailer. I'm gonna use the bars of my trailer to actually get her in. So we're gonna walk up. I'm gonna run my line. So I have the second bar. Now this is where I add pressure. And all I wanna do is I want her to go forward. So I'm just gonna add it right behind her. Kind of pull up slightly. No, 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 no. See, that's, I'm not going to release on that. I'm going to make her walk forward. There you go. Good girl. Now she walked forward, I'll release pressure. Now we'll add a little bit more. Come on, girl. Let's go in. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to reach up here and see if I can get her to pull. She didn't want to. We're going to add a little more pressure. Come on. Go on. Good girl. She sees the food. She wants to get in. Good job. Good girl. Now I'm going to see if I can get her even farther in. Come in from the front. I was too late. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Nope. That didn't work. We'll come back out. All right. Let's add a little more pressure. Come on, let's walk forward. Good 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Again, I'm gonna try to keep her busy. While I get in. Ooh. Ooh. for me. See if she'll come in this time without me getting in there. Come on. Come on. She's still not down for that. So, like I said, let's switch techniques. Add a little pressure. Walk right in. Good girl. This time I'll slide my rope up. all the way to the front. There we go. I have my rope slid up. See? Good girl. So there's our basic start to it. Gradually, I'm going to have her in the trailer just a little bit more each time. And every time we're gonna stay in there a little bit more. The big thing I don't want her to do is to turn around. But for our first session, I think that went really well. And that kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing. This was in real time. So we'll check out the next session. Okay, so this is session two. Uh, we have got her loaded. We've got her some feed in here. Um, it's cooler in the morning right now. And we're just gonna set her in the trailer for a little while. We've got this back divider closed. And I'm gonna close up the whole trailer here for a second. Let her finish her breakfast and uh, not associate this with so much of a bad thing. She's a little stressed out, but not too bad. Um, the whole idea here is getting in the trailer, not such a bad experience. Okay, doors are fully closed and she's gonna hang out in here for a little bit before I offload her. And uh, this is basically what we're gonna do. Okay, whoa. Now the object here is just to have her stand in the trailer, make sure she's cool with it. I opened the gate because I didn't think she was going to try to escape out the escape hatch. But uh, she's going to stand in here for a short period of time and uh, then we're going to unload her and hopefully everything will be just fine. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video and if you enjoyed the video give us a like and if you haven't already please subscribe and remember to see more. Check out all of our playlists. The camera? Right here. <laughs> you don't eat the you don't eat the camera <laughs>